Welcome back, all 42 of you. For the first time, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I plan on re-watching The Lord of the Rings Extended Editions sometime soon, but I'm actually going to read the books for the first time before watching the movies. I've read about three quarters of The Fellowship of the Ring, but that was many years ago. I've read The Hobbit all the way through, but I, you know, I definitely want to check it off my bucket list of reading all three Lord of the Rings movies, and then I will be doing a comparison between the movies and the books to see what I finally noticed is different. I know there is stuff they did leave out, and I know a lot of people have done reviews, but I gotta do my own review on that side, and stay tuned to the next little clip here, and I'll show you the books that I have. So here are all three copies of my Lord of the Rings books. I believe we got these in probably 2002, because as you see, I'm pretty sure this picture of Aragon here is from the Two Towers, but they used it for Return of the King, I'm almost positive. But I've never actually just got around to reading them. You know, when I took this out of the case there, there was actually a bookmark in between this page where I had left off. But I'm definitely looking forward to reading these entire books and then watching the movies and then doing a comparison. And next, what I'll probably do is Harry Potter. I have Harry Potter books uh, lined up right there. But, you know, I know there's differences. I'm not really too concerned, which is why I also have the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition on Blu-ray. I should probably update these to 4K one day, but you know I'll get around to doing that eventually. Uh, hit the subscribe button to follow the journey, and see you in the next one. Peace.